how is your team, the engineering team specifically, using AI tools? May that be IDs, agents. You mentioned that Mojo is a familiar language to write with AI, but I'm interested that underneath the hood, are you seeing the impact of these tools? We definitely encourage our team to use AI coding tools, and so they use Cloud Code and Cursor and all 57 other things. And so there's lots of different experiences. I've seen tons of benefit. And so for me, I still code. And so I use Cursor, for example, as my daily driver right now. And so I feel like it's a good 10% productivity for particularly mechanical rewrites and stuff like this. But you're a really good programmer, so that's pretty good, pretty meaningful. Yes, yes. I represent very sophisticated programmer. But it's really, I enjoy it because it frees me from a lot of the mechanical stuff. And so whether it makes me aggregate more productive or not increases my enjoyment, which is good. Now, for other folks that are building prototypes or PMs that are building wireframe models of things, it's transformative because you can literally 10x somebody and you can make it so they could build something they otherwise wouldn't get around to doing. And so that is transformative. For production coding, I think that it's kind of hit and miss. And to me, honestly, I don't know if it's actually a net win or not, because I've seen many cases where people say, okay, just go let the agent try a thing. And then it grinds and grinds and grinds and a gajillion tokens later, it doesn't work. If they would have just done it, then it would have been done sooner. And so to me, again, there's lots of wins, but there's also some losses. I do know it's moving very rapidly and I do want us to be using it. But also one of the things I'd say is I don't want people to turn their brains off. And one of the things I think is really important is that programmers in our team, but also in general, they use it as a human assist, not a human replacement. 